Today I will talk about the 12 volt battery replacement done on my Model 3 this week. I wanted to start by letting you know that I have a 2018 Model 3 long range rear wheel drive with almost 41,000 miles and I've had it for 3 years and 5 months. On Thursday evening, September 23rd, I received a notice on the LCD display showing this message. If you do get this warning, please plan on getting a replacement 12 volt battery within two weeks, preferably much sooner. In the meantime, if your car is parked in a garage, try to leave the front and driver's side window open. This will allow you to have access to the 12 volt battery if it needs to be replaced. See my previous video on using a hidden 12 volt or 9 volt cell battery in the front jumper area. That will allow you to open the front if the battery is dead. Also, inside the car, I had the auto lock turned off and the close windows on lock turned off. Make sure to turn off anything that may stress the 12 volt battery, like sentry cam or an external 12 volt powered dash cam. The service advisor also suggested keeping the car plugged in and charged. That evening, I went on the Tesla phone app and discovered that there were no mobile or service center appointments within two weeks. That's not good. I've heard stories where people have had the battery die in them within that period of time, so I was determined to get it done sooner. If my car was out of warranty, I could have gone to the service center and purchased the battery and installed it myself. This receipt I found on the internet shows that the battery costs $85 direct from Tesla. Not bad considering that some auto parts stores carry similar batteries for at least 50% more than that price. The next morning I contacted Tesla service and they didn't have any availability, but if I could leave the car there all day, they may be able to look at it. Well, Friday was a busy day for me picking up my daughter from school and I've had a few work meetings planned. I asked for an alternative and the service rep suggested I come in first thing the next day, which happens to be Saturday. No problem, I didn't have anything planned for Saturday, so that worked for me. At the Raleigh Service Center, the first two rows of parking spots are for dropping off and picking up cars from service. Tesla doesn't offer loaner cars anymore unless you have a major issue that keeps the car in the shop for multiple days. Tesla does provide a daily Uber credit of around $100 if you want to. I could have taken an Uber home and then back later when it was done. The weather was really nice, sunny and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I decided to wait on the car. I parked the car in the drop-off area around 8.15 a.m. I went inside to the service desk and let them know that I was there and needed the 12-volt battery replacement. By the way, service is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday at this location. I just received my new iPhone the day before, so I had some fun taking photos and videos in the parking lot. Around 11.55 a.m., service went over and picked up the car. Service doesn't need your key card. They are able to do everything remotely. The service tech then drove the car around and then into the repair shop area. The Raleigh Service Center is a pretty big building. It was previously a gym, and years before that, it was a CompUSA. Regarding the 12 volt battery, I want to bring up that my car is under warranty. I'm about three and a third years out of four years covered, and also just under 41,000 miles out of the 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. So this means that the 12 volt battery is covered under warranty if it dies. After about 30 minutes, the battery was replaced and the car was then moved to the pickup area of the parking lot. One thing I do miss is that Tesla used to give detailed text messages on when the car was starting service and when it was completed. I suppose since they are so much busier now, this nicety has been dropped due to time constraints. I only noticed the car in the parking lot and checked my app and yes, it showed that the service was completed. You get a PDF of the billing sheet in the app, and I usually send a copy of this to my main computer to keep track of my service visits. 
Here you can see the cost was zero dollars due to warranty replacement. If my new battery lasts three to four years again, I'll pay $85 for the new battery and probably install it myself. It's not that difficult. Also, if I didn't want to wait for service today, I could have purchased it yesterday and installed it myself. But I'd rather save the $85 since warranty covers it. It is not uncommon for the 12 volt battery to die anywhere from one to four years of age. It's hard to say what would cause the battery to go prematurely. Some say plugging it in more often helps the high voltage battery recharge the 12 volt regularly. I didn't do anything particularly unusual with my situation. I charge up to 80% a couple times a week. And then when the battery falls to 25 to 35%, I plug it in to charge up. I don't leave the car plugged in all the time either. It is said that the 12 volt battery is stressed differently in EVs compared to ICE cars. In ICE cars, the alternator keeps the battery charged up while running. The Tesla uses the main battery pack to charge the 12 volt, but only every so often. Tesla has changed over to using lithium iron batteries in the new Model S and X this year. They tend to be more expensive, so I don't know if the Model 3 and Y will ever get this upgrade. There are a couple of third-party companies like Omu and Mountain Pass Performance that offer lithium iron 12-volt batteries. They are priced in the $439 to $660 range. Comparing the old battery on the left to the new one on the right, they are very similar. The label now says Hankook Atlas BX and the part number of 1129182-00-B and the 45 amp hour capacity is the same on both models. In conclusion, if you are lucky enough to get a 12 volt battery warning on the main screen like I did, make sure that you have it replaced within two weeks, preferably sooner if you can. People who don't get the warning may notice some battery issues before the battery dies, like flickering lights or other inconsistencies. Others just find a dead car with no response when they try to open the door. So you can see a 12 volt battery is very important. Get it replaced as it reaches its end of life. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It helps the channel grow. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.